Everyone, we're coming to you today from Waterdown at Two Hugel Way. And guys, it should be called Two Huge Way because this big end unit executive townhouse is going to blow your mind. Behind me, three plus one bedrooms, four bathrooms, a walkout basement with a separate entrance, gorgeous windows up the side of this house, flooding with light. And this whole house, guys, is custom. It's been uniquely designed with the builder and the owner to bring you one uncompromised, unique property that's gonna make you go OMG. Stop talking, Mike. Let's go inside and check this place out. Coming inside of this foyer and I am blown away. Look at the high ceilings in here. They gotta be 15 feet. Natural light coming in from that window, popping off the ceramic floor, and I'm getting a view of that wraparound porch. When's the last time you saw a wraparound porch on a townhome? Well, you're seeing it today at Two Hugel. I line down to this massive walkout basement I'm so excited to show you, and I'm seeing right upstairs onto this gorgeous hardwood floor, this modern open concept layout, and everything just filled with light. I'm seeing that size, I'm seeing the scale, and I am excited to get inside. Let's keep going. Coming up, these solid hardwood stairs onto my beautiful hardwood, guys. Nice finish on this hardwood, really trendy, really modern, kind of low sheen, really in the times right now. Gonna last the test of time and also get people excited. Look at this giant room. You might have noticed no closet down in the foyer because the builder and the owner wanted to keep it big and broad, not to worry. Massive double closet front hall foyer here, one of the biggest front hall foyer closets I've ever seen. And it's in the perfect spot, utilizing the space underneath this staircase, another beautiful hardwood staircase, I might add. Look at the size of this living room, guys. I'm gonna start over here with the foosball table because God knows I love foosball. Oh, 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 you know I got it. So not everyone's gonna put a foosball table here, but you get the idea of how much space sits right here. You could have a bar cart, two club chairs. This could be that overflow for the play space, mom and dad's, where you have that little toy kitchen and cars and all that stuff, beautifully neat and tidy at the front of the house, where you can still keep an eye on the kid, but you don't have all the clutter in the middle. Speaking of the middle, check out the size and space in here for this family room, guys. You couldn't buy a bigger couch if you try. This is when you go to Leon's or when you go to the big furniture store and you go, where's the big couch? This is what they point to. Now, you might put a different couch in here. You might put two couches in here. My point is, this room's gonna take whatever you wanna put in it. It's neutral, it's relaxed, it's open, it's gorgeous, and it's ready for your stuff. Tons of room in here for that ottoman. Guys, get as big of a TV as you want, it's gonna fit. Unless you want a huge projector like at Cineplex, you're fine. Go to Best Buy, blow your budget, you finally got the house of your dreams, and now it's time for the TV you've always wanted. Love how open this is, love how it connects perfectly with our dining kitchen. Let's take a look at that before I show you this main floor laundry and this powder room. Come on guys. So modern, so spectacular in here. Look at this afternoon sunshine coming into this property. This walks out to our huge deck. You can see that barbecue ready to go. We're gonna go out there in a little bit. But just that function coming right through, right off our chef's kitchen. And man, is this a chef's kitchen. Look at this counter space in here, guys. Beautiful Corian countertops, gas stove, beautiful, stainless. Built-in dishwasher over here, stainless, gorgeous expensive handle, double undermount sinks, stainless, really nice faucet in here, and just nice little details tying it all in together. Got an LG French store stainless steel fridge here, and check out this backsplash, guys. It's kind of that modern Chevron look, super on trend right now, super exciting. This house is like a showroom, and you're gonna feel that the moment you come in. Plugs in the island, perfect spots over here for our stools so the kids, they come home from school, they can do their homework right here while they have their carrots, while they have their celery, and you make sure they're getting their vitamins while they get their vitamins, if you know what I'm talking about. 
Beautiful pendant lights up here. Just so much ceiling height, guys. It's a really big main floor, but this ceiling height just makes it feel so much more abundant. And that natural light is just banging off of everything and flooding this room. It feels good to be in the space. And I'll tell you, from all my experience in real estate, if you don't have that natural light, you don't have the wellness and lifestyle that you really want. Speaking of wellness and lifestyle, we all dream of that main floor laundry. Well, let me show you this incredible full-size laundry room, perfectly tucked away right here. You don't even know it's here, but it's there at your fingertips on the main level so that you can get things done at your convenience. Look at this. Tons of space in here, beautiful Electrolux machines, and just ample room to get things done. Washer tub, storage, storage, and just look at the room in here. Usually you got these little laundry closets or it's tucked down in the basement, not at Two Hugel. It's right here on the main level and there's room to grow. Now, if only we had a powder room on this floor. Wait, we do. Let's take a look. You couldn't have a better place powder room. You got all this open entertaining space here, perfectly combined with the open entertaining space over there. And just to create a little bit of division so this floor doesn't feel like a big open box you have these two utility rooms right here, giving you all the form and function you're after in a custom home like this. Check this out, huge powder room, lots of elbow room in here. Love the details, love how it's a side by side and it's not a tight little closet like you're so often seeing. Love this little mirror detail, custom mirror here, beautiful. Love the light fixture, love the pedestal, just allowing it to feel more open in here. And you can see there's tons of room for more storage in here, but certainly the placement right off that front door, right near the kitchen, but in a place that's private where people are actually gonna use it, not asked to go upstairs or go downstairs every time your guest needs to use the washroom. Perfect layout, someone was really thinking when they designed this. Let's go upstairs and show you more. Heading upstairs, guys, ooh, onto these solid hardwood stairs. No creaks, no squeaks. Look at this height, guys. How many houses have you looked at and you think, how the heck are we gonna get our furniture up there? How are we gonna get our big king-size bed up there? Not a problem at Two Hugo. Everything is big, everything is oversized. This home does not feel like a townhouse. It feels like a semi. It almost feels detached. Let's keep going. Coming upstairs, guys. Ooh, when my toes are into that soft broad loom. Now, my parents have owned a million houses and I actually got into real estate with a little influence from my folks. My stepdad always says, those bedrooms, those hallways upstairs, you want to have the broad loom. You don't want that cold floor on your feet when you get up at the middle of the night. And I totally agree. Love that luxurious, great shape broad loom up here, really adding that coziness to these bedrooms so that you can just snuggle up at night and get up in the morning and feel awesome. I'll give you the lay of the land of this floor. The cameraman is standing just in front of one of the bedrooms. There's a bedroom off to the right here. Big linen closet right here. Tons of storage in this house. All these rooms have big closets, but still double linen closet here. Full size four piece bathroom right here and a large principal with ensuite, with walk-in closet and a secondary closet. Let's start in there because I know that whoever's buying this house, that's their room. Let's go. People, you could get two king size beds into this room. Great ceiling height. One, two, three, four, five, six window panes in here, bringing in that natural light. Great window coverings, don't worry, you can have your sleep ins. Look at the ample space here between our bathroom and our walk in closet. Tons of room for that big, luxurious headboard. You could have one of those big built in beds in here, no problem big side tables, and there's tons of room over here. This I love to see. When you're seeing a lounger in a principal bedroom like this, it's just a show off item. It's saying, look at how big my bedroom is. I could hang out in it. I can have a friend up here. We could have a cocktail. You people with your little bedrooms that don't have room for your friends in your bedrooms. Ah, <laughs> you don't know how we live. You get the point. Luxury, size, grandeur, all right here. Let's take a look at this big, beautiful bathroom before I show you the walk-in and we see these other bedrooms. Look at the size of this bathroom. I know my wife watches this video. She's gonna get jealous because we got those big double sinks. Natural stone countertops in here. 
tons of storage on both sides and the drawers, the function right here so that you can have all this counter space, but it's not cluttered. Right next to our custom shower, love these double stack, stacked on top of each other, modern subway tiles. That's gonna last forever, guys. That's gonna be in style for years and years and years to come so that you don't have to reimagine this bath in your 10 years. It's gonna be ready to go. These details, beautiful chrome rain head in there, glass, simple, beautiful chrome handle, just timeless, it really just speaks to itself in its own simplicity. Great spot here for the throne. Big window behind the cameraman right now. Let's do a little reverse. I'm gonna step in the tub and kind of imagine myself sitting here at the end of a long day having a glass of wine. Big window, two panes, tons of natural light, nice fogginess on it though so that no one, you know, can see in at anything that you don't want them to see in. If you want them to see everything because you're a voyeur, well, take it off and then take it off. You get the point. Great bathroom in here, guys. Again, one by one, modern, kind of darker tile on this floor, gonna last the test of time, and it's also gonna clean and maintain aces. Let's go check out this walk-in. I've never owned a walk-in, but I hear they're nice. Check this one out. Beautiful built-in here, hanging room on the sides. Tons of room in here. You can get three, four people in here if you're playing hide and go seek. More importantly, you can get tons of clothes in here for two people. You could do built-ins this way, built-ins this way with one in the middle, or do one big built-in like this and kind of go with the way that they've set it up. Either way, it's gonna work for you. Now, if this isn't enough closet space because you are a clothes collector, we got one more in here, not to worry. And man, is it a good size. Tons of room in there, and we got a whole bunch more closet here for that overflow, or for the person that gets stuck without the walk-in closet. No comment. Let's keep going and see these other bedrooms, guys. Really good size to this bedroom, guys. We got a queen size in here, big dresser. Love this little inset window. It's just a simple detail, but it makes these rooms feel special and not just like a simple box. That same warm broad loom in here, nice neutral tones to these walls, and that same high ceiling. Got a nice built-in border, it's that California knockdown. Nice modern ceilings, not that popcorn ceiling we see in the older units. Now, if only this room had a huge closet, well guys, guess what? It's got a walk-in closet. A walk-in closet in a secondary bedroom? A two Hugo way, come check it out. Love this closet. It's so rare to see a closet of this size in a secondary bedroom. You can see they're not using it because there's three people living in this house and there's just almost too much space. Not that too much space is an actual thing. But this is the kind of place where you're gonna store that Christmas blazer. You know, you gotta look your finest when you go out at Christmas. This is a very cute one and I would wear that myself. You get the idea, storage galore, and this is only one of the secondary bedrooms. Let's check out bedroom number three. This is a great bedroom, guys. Kind of reminds me of a nautical feel. Maybe I'm Jack, maybe Rose is around, and this is Titanic or something, you know? It's got that near, far, wherever you are, and I know that my heart will go on. Too much? Maybe, but guess what? All these windows, that architectural feel, the space, it's magical up here. It gets you inspired and it might get you doing some silly stuff. We put a single bed in here because we wanted to make this a focal point, but there was a queen size in here. This is a really good size room and certainly it's got a lot of beautiful light and it's got views of the new park that's going in just next door. Next to a park, check. Big closet over here. Also underutilized right now. You can see there's so much storage in this house. Tons of room up here, tons of room below, and just lots of hanging. Now you can get creative with these closets. Put built-ins in, do what you want. Right now, they're certainly serving their purpose. Now before I take you downstairs and show you this incredible basement, let me show you this washroom that services these two bedrooms. Another great bathroom to service this house, guys. Great stall in here, everything's pristine. These people have taken such good care of this home. The color palette in here is a little bit oatmeal-y, it's really lovely, just 
a little bit off beige, but a tiny bit richer. It just kind of feels more spa-like and open. I really like it, it's calming. Great spot over here for our throne. And of course, we got this large vanity in here with tons of storage underneath. Great big mirror and another great light on top. Just really popping, giving that kind of same vibe throughout the house, seeing the same themes played out to really tie it all together. Like I said, these people kept thinking. Now, let me take you downstairs to this lower level walkout basement and show you something that you've never seen in a townhouse ever, bar none. You're gonna be excited. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna give you guys the lay of the land. We have a kind of a downstairs foyer here. There's a separate entrance that comes through to the garage. And what you'll see when you come into the space is, there's almost a separate living space down here. So people, if you want your in-laws to come or if you want a nanny suite, Two Hugo Way's got something that no other townhouse is gonna give you. It's the division, the plumbing for a sink, for a kitchen, a whole kind of bathroom setup, and you got a separate entrance over here. So I imagine these double doors could be shut you could have access to your garage from here and someone could fully have their own little suite down here and be happy. Now we're not talking legal apartments. If you want this to be legal, you gotta go to the city of Hamilton. You gotta go through their hoops, through their loops and follow all the rules. But for something legal with someone living in your space, there's gonna be a really big opportunity here. Let's keep looking. Look at the size of this, guys. You got so much room down here. I love this feature wall here, just drawing your eye this way, creating texture and depth, and it almost feels like you're at an expensive restaurant or something. Here's our separate entrance. This takes us right out. You gotta love that. And a landscaped walkway right to our sidewalk. Beautifully done, I might add. Tons of room in here. Look at how big this sectional is. Look at this TV setup. Certainly, you could have a dining table down here, some more chairs, and look at the storage camera, man. Get behind me. One massive closet. Two massive closets in here. Just tons of storage. So you can use this as storage if you don't want someone down here. If you want someone down here because you're gonna have you know, a teenager or a parent or someone that's gonna have their own little space down here, take these out. Take this extra three feet, add some room in here. You could put a Murphy bed on this wall. There's tons of options. Over here, we have our services room. Tons of room for storage in here outside of just the services. You'll see there's a big five by five platform in here. Put storage, boxes, all that stuff. Here, there's a rough in for a bar, but you know, use your imagination, it's ready to go. And that links us up to our beautiful bathroom. Look at this bathroom, people. Love the matte gray penny tiles in here. Love the pops of red with the grays. Just that little bit of modern, the subtlety and the pop of the red. Love this glass enclosure here. That's gonna be beautiful for anyone using this bathroom. Now guys, this is the fourth bathroom we've seen. Think back, the powder room, the principal ensuite, that four piece on the second level, and now this three piece down here. That's four bathrooms in a house of this size. Man, there's so much to that. Love having this here. Let's see this garage for a quick sec. So here's what I'm talking about, where you can come through the garage and enter right into that foyer here. Now maybe you don't need this foyer, take this division out. Make this basement even bigger. Possibly you could get kind of a plus one bedroom down here if you play your cards right. Nice big clean garage in here. We got that kind of polished concrete feel. Tons of room for storage. Beautiful door with the lights, bringing in the natural light so when you're working in here, you got a little bit extra help than just the bulb and the opener. You can see tons of room. You're gonna get a big car in here. Not to mention, you got two parking spaces in that driveway. Ample parking, which is just yet another feature of why this is such a great unit, guys. All right, let's go upstairs and take a look at this yard before we go out front and talk a little bit about what makes this property so special and what makes this location one of a kind. We're coming out onto one of the biggest terraces I've seen in a townhome. We've got a huge yard below, walk out from that basement, have access to the yard, but look at the space up here, guys. Tons of room over here to do your dining, have a big setup, and then tons of room over here. You could have the big sectional couch, 
get it all set up here, chill out, drink some beers in the summertime, enjoy those fall nights, put a hammock up here, and just get all that sunshine. And we'll get shots here from the cameraman, but all along the street, there's a, a big water tower, it's gorgeous, and then there's a big surround where they're putting in a big park. So there's no development across from you. It's gonna be private, it's gonna be a park, and for people with kids, man, having that across the street is aces, because you'll be able to be in your kitchen, be in your house, and be looking across the street watching those kids play. That is awesome. Okay, let's go downstairs, go outside, show you the yard around the house, and talk a little bit about this location and this house. Coming out that walk out into our side yard, and you really start to get a feel for how big this house is from the exterior, guys. Look at all of this, look at the height on these windows inside. It really shows you that this isn't a basement, it's a lower level. The whole thing walks out on two full sides. Now let's check out this yard. Really good sized yard in here. Love the privacy that this big deck creates. You could put stairs coming down if you wanted to do that. The way they've kept it is because they got a little one, they didn't want them to be able to get down and escape. This really creates privacy and a little protection. Now, come in, reimagine it the way you'd like it for yourself. You can see there's a sandbox underneath here. We've got our rain barrels. There's even a place to tuck your playhouse and all that stuff. Really great backyard for a townhouse complex like this. Now, you don't even need this yard because like I said, right across the street in the development, we're getting a huge park here, really celebrating Waterdown as a family-friendly neighborhood. Let's go out front and take a look at the parking. Coming out front, guys, you can see extra deep driveway here. We have our parking garage here. What I love about this, beyond the size of the driveway, is it's private. So many of these townhouse complexes in the immediate area have a shared driveway where you're kind of sharing that asphalt with your neighbor. Now, there's nothing wrong with sharing, but sometimes you just don't want to share because it leads to complications. Not at 2 Hugel. Private driveway, your own attached garage, Gorgeous views of this park, separate side porch here, beautiful terrace on the back, tons of space in and out, all modernly updated. It feels like a huge semi-detached and you cannot put a price on that natural light that you get from being in an end unit. So let's talk a little bit about why people choose water now. Well, schools for one, community for another, access to stores and shops, restaurants, and the main arteries of Hamilton and Burlington. Commuters, paradise right here. You could live in the community and thrive, but if you want to be downtown Toronto, if you want to be to transit just at the bottom of water down road there's that go train right there so you have this whole kind of beautiful suburban oasis but at the same time you've got at your doorstep access to the urban vibe that we're all after the perfect mix of both to Hugo Way, you gotta come down, you gotta check out this massive property. It really is a wonderful opportunity. Call your agent, call me, whatever. It's time to see it, and the time is now. Well guys, before these owners get home, I'm gonna go inside and play a little bit more foosball. You guys, well, you can get the heck out of here. <laughs>